video, I'm going to be talking about cutting out negative people, cut, cutting out negative influences in general. Stick your bread in the toaster. Welcome back to another video. I'm Maximilian and I help people empower their lives. This video, I'm going to be cooking a vegan fry up with beetroot sausages and I'm going to be giving you some value. That's what I want to be doing. I'm going to give you something of value. One minute meal! There you go, there's the start of the one minute meal. First, we do the coconut oil into the pan. Healthy alternative to your normal oil. Coconut oil in the pan. Coconut oil in the pan. Butter. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about cutting out negative people, cut, cutting out negative influences in general, because it doesn't always have to mean people. There's a lot of negative things out there that ruin our life. And if you think about it, And if you think about it, what do you think the most positive people do? The most positive people in the world, what do you think they do? They hang around positive people. But not only that, they consume positive content. They are just positive people in general. Obviously, you know this bread going in toaster first time. Bread, toaster, oh. Bread, toaster, oh. Probably video this. That's probably why I didn't go in because I wasn't videoing, obviously. Bread, toaster, that'll do. That won't. Bread, toaster, oh, come on. Bread and toaster in the toaster. <laughs> Stick your bread in the toaster. Yes. Beetroot sausages in the pan. So yeah, hanging around negative people, hanging around negative influences will really diminish how you value yourself. Because we take on who we are around. So if we are around people who are constantly positive, we're gonna eventually take on that energy. So my biggest advice, and people have said to me before, my dad was very toxic, and well, I haven't seen him for about four years now, and he's very toxic. So I made the choice to not see him due to what he did. Now obviously he beat up my mum, he told me he was gonna kill himself, he did all this stuff. But I had the choice to, I could, I could still do what people say to me, which is, he's your dad at the end of the day, you should still want to see him. Yes, he might be my dad, but that doesn't give him um, a, a key, it doesn't give him the right to ruin our lives, to be toxic in our lives. And no one has that right. So remember, value yourself. Don't let other people ever, ever tear you down. If they're tearing you down, cut them out. I don't care who they are related. If they're related to you, if they've been your best friend for, t for 10, 20 years, it doesn't matter. As long as you are around positive people and you're consuming positive content, you're going to get what you want. You're going to get the result you want. Put the beans in the pan! Oh, that's a lot of bean juice. Get your massage! I just completely messed that up. And your tummies! Cutting out negative people is very, very important in your life because if you're not cutting out negative, oh, hold on. Add your salt and add your pepper. Yes, this does have a light in it. So yeah, cutting out negative people is very important because if you're not, if you're consuming what you're around, and this is exactly what I did, I figured out that when I first started on my personal development journey, when I first started to want to be successful, my initial reaction was, I am not strong-minded, I am not strong-willed. I could have made the choice and said, I'm always going to be there, I'm always going to be stuck in this position, but instead I said to myself, I'm going to get myself out, how am I going to do this? I cut off negativity. I cut off people that would say, it isn't possible for you to do this. It, people like us don't achieve this, why not? What is it, what's the reason behind it? The people that achieve everything every day. So. Don't ever let anyone tell you that you can't achieve anything. And the way that I did it, I started listening to positive audio, positive affirmations, positive books, um, listening to positive speakers and things like that. I started to get coaches, I get mentored by people. And that was the biggest key, what the hell is that? That was the biggest key to me in getting to the level that I'm at now. Am I at the best? No, I'm still growing every single day. There's not a day that I'm not growing. But I need to do loads of different things in order to reach the level that I want to achieve. So getting around positive people, listening to positive content was the biggest key that helped me get to where I am now. 
So, if you have someone that you want to listen to, if it's me, perfect. If it's not me, not a problem at all. I do coaching as well, so if you want to be coached by me, by all means, I would love to coach you, I'd love to help you, I'd love to get you to a level of confidence, self-love, creating positive habits, and genuinely change your life, because I do loads of different techniques with people that completely, instantly change their life. It may take a couple of times that I do this technique, but either way, they get the change, they get the dramatic change, and they change their life. So, if you do want to work with me, send me a message um, on Instagram, the link will be in the bio, but the main thing is understanding that if it's not me, finding someone that you can get around that will improve your life, will improve your well-being in general. Because if you're not improving your well-being, you're never going to grow. And if you're not growing, you're never going to be happy because the key to, to happiness is constant growth. If you sat down on the, on the sofa every single day, you would not grow. You would not feel happy. And I guarantee you that. And when you're at a level of self-love, you discipline yourself to do something in order to grow. Toes go down. And we've got the... Mushrooms in the pan, the beetroot sausages, oh they're so good, yeah. Sorry I can't throw anything around there, I haven't got any nanas for chopped neither so it's just a bit of... Tell you what, biggest key, whenever you are cooking, clean up on the, along the way because then you don't have to clean up as soon as you have finished, which is probably the worst thing to do once you've eaten, you don't want to really be washing up and stuff like that. And you twist in, twist in, twist in your bread. Oh yeah, we put the mushrooms away, what are you gonna say? This looks bloody tasty mate, bloody tasty. And this is a very healthy breakfast. It may look like a fry up, it may taste like a fry up, but it ain't as bad for you as a fry up. The things cook. I feel like I'm missing something with this breakfast, there should be something else. start getting the vegan alternatives of like bacon and things like that. I've never had them before but apparently they're really good. But it's not actually as good for you at the end of the day. I don't know, maybe once. Who knows? Oh my god. You get the plate out. And then you put all the rubbish away. And make sure you put your beans in a tough away tub. Metal tin is not good. room in here for these. Uh, there's plenty of room for the mushrooms because there's much room. But don't let people negatively impact your life. One of the biggest things that I have never done is watch the news. That is one of the biggest keys because I used to watch such stupid stuff on TV and it used to be so negative. And why? Because of what I was watching. So watch what you're watching. Make the toast go pop. Ow, 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 And if you ever... So stick it all in the... What the hell? Wash it up. Wash it up. Then you don't have to do it again anymore. The final part. Butter that toast. I really feel like there is something missing from this. I can't quite put my finger on it. Looks good though. I tell you. It looks really good. But this is how... You make a one minute meal. Finally, you butter the beef with the vegan butter on the brain. My friend. So never let negativity rule your world. If someone's negative, if you even have a negative thought, becoming conscious of it is key. If you're conscious of it, you don't need to um, eliminate it straight away. The key is to be conscious of it. You then understand, I don't want to be feeling that. 
what do I need to do to change? Then, you change yourself. Sounds easy, takes a bit of time, but it's well worth it. So, this is the meal, this is what we finished with. There's, there's tomatoes under there as well. Looks a little bit prettier. But, I hope this video has given you some value and I hope you've enjoyed the cooking show. Cooking with Max on the one minute meals. But, have an amazing day. Don't let negativity rule your life. Focus on positivity. If you feel negative, switch it with a positive thought straight away. Say, why am I thinking that? That's not me, that's not me. And just change it, just tell yourself. It takes a bit of time, but over time it becomes a habit. Habits create your life. So, have an amazing day. I will speak to you soon. I love you. Love yourself. Don't let anyone ever tell you that you can't. Make sure, because you can. Have an amazing day. Keep smiling and spreading positivity.